Hey everyone, thanks for watching. So we are throwing a Fiesta themed baby shower for my sister. So I just got everything together that I need for all of the decorations. So I figured I would share it with you guys. Of course, these ideas can be used for any type of party. It doesn't have to be just for a baby shower. I don't have it in any specific order. I'm just going to show you guys everything I got, how I'll be using it. I will leave everything linked down below in case I do forget to mention it in the video or you don't catch it. First, we will start with a little activity idea and that is to make some little flower crowns all you need for this are some plastic headbands and then also some artificial flowers I got these right at Dollar Tree it comes in a bundle and you can just choose whatever colors that you would like my sister is having a boy so I did try to incorporate more blues in the decorations but since it is a fiesta theme everything is pretty colorful to begin with and then you will just need to set up a little hot glue gun area and then they can just take a headband and then just glue the flowers directly on and then they can wear it during the shower afterwards. So I will be making a large photo backdrop. That way people will have a space where they can take photos and it's nice and decorated all Fiesta themed. First up, we have some of these fans. So I did get these from a party website. They were really inexpensive. They had different colors, different sizes. So I got a blue one red some yellows which this one comes in a three pack and then i also got this lighter blue which also comes in the three pack as well i also have a bunch of two packs of these streamers which i got right at dollar tree these i will also be using for the backdrop some of these fans so i figured i would incorporate some of the colorful ones as well as the solid for the backdrop i used a structure that i already have on hand if you don't then you can always make one super easy and inexpensive from pinterest and then I just hung the different colored banners from the Dollar Tree right on top of that. I took this foam board, which is also from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to zip tie it directly to the backdrop structure. And this I'm going to fill with different colored Fiesta fans. So as you can see, this first one I already have glued down. I just used some hot glue and I added two zip ties and this is how it looks from the back. That way I can have one on the top and then one going down the side. And then I'm just going to continue you hot gluing all of the fans to this corner piece and this is the final result of how it came out with all of the fans glued on whatever fans that I don't use for the backdrop I'm going to use for a welcome sign so they definitely will all get used I also picked up some of these tropical looking leaves I wanted to see how they would look underneath the fans I don't know if it's gonna look like it goes at all but I thought it would be a really cute thing to incorporate some greenery onto the backdrop so I just took another foam board from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use all of the extra fans add the glue directly onto the foam board and glue down all of the fans and then I also added a few of the tropical leaves to the corners as well and I will be using this as the welcome sign I also took some of the frill ribbon and I'm going to glue that to the top and the bottom you can just use some letter stickers which you can get from the craft store but since I just have a Cricut cutter at home I just made my own design and this is how it ended up coming out this is a little bit random, but I did pick these up because they were super inexpensive and they are adorable. They are these little cactus straws. So all you do is connect the little cactus on to the straw and then all of them will be all festive. I also picked up a little cactus necklace that my sister can wear for the shower just because it goes with the theme. I also picked up some stickers and some tattoos for my nieces. I think I got the tattoos in the dollar target section and then these stickers I got from Dollar Tree one of these table runners so I just got this right off of Amazon and it's beautiful bright colors and it's just a really nice quality I feel like it's really going to pop on the table and then I just got a blue tablecloth to put underneath the table runner like I said she's having a boy I figured I'd do blue and then have the table runner right across next to that table I'm going to put these cactus blow-ups I think they're around two feet it said and I just got this two pack right off of Amazon I also got Got one of these banners that says taco bar I figured this would be really cute just to label that area so people know that that's where the taco bar is I got these balloons which are the giant letter balloons it's going to spell out baby and then I got some really cute pom-poms that I'm going to put on the letters I got a bunch of other ribbon pom-poms that I figured I could use to just decorate or any other spaces that just need a little bit of decoration I have some extra pom-poms for that and then the same thing with these little 
flowers. I just got them as extra little pieces just to add some more blue in areas that may need it. And now for the topping on the cake, I got this super cute pinata off of Etsy and this is just a little cake topper. And this is probably one of my favorite pieces for the party. They had so many cute options on Etsy and then I'm also going to make another piece for the top of the cake that will spell out the baby's name. I just took some colorful craft paper from Michaels and I made some designs on my Cricut to spell out the baby's name and I cut it directly from that. Now I am taking some string that I got from Dollar Tree and taping the little banners directly onto the string. Then I went ahead and cut the excess tape off and I tied it to these wooden dowels which I also got from Dollar Tree. To make it a little more secure I added some hot glue and I also put these cute little tissue confetti pieces to the ends. So this is how both of the cake toppers ended up looking on the cake. I absolutely love how colorful it ended up coming out. And then for another little activity idea or you can use this as like a guest book is to get these little wooden blocks. It's perfect for people to design the blocks and then he can use them to play with as he grows up and they're all signed and have messages and things written on them from family members. I got a pack of these little photo props for our little photo booth area. Also comes with the sticks and then little sticky pads. That way people can hold them up but I will show you. We have the little maracas, some sugar skulls, and just all different super cute little fiesta theme props. For party favors we will be doing some little sugar scrubs that people can take home. So I got some favorite tags off of one of my favorite personalization websites. It's called Zazzle.com and they have the cutest designs. As you can see they are really cute fiesta theme favor tags. It says from our shower to yours. It's just going to be a really pretty blue sugar scrub. From Etsy I got this really cute banner and they say baby shower on them. And then here we have three little mini pinatas. So I think that these are so adorable. And I'm planning to add some of the flowers and little pom poms that I got to this guy just to make him a little bit more blue. I may spray paint the feet gold. Next up I got a bunch of these Mexican salsa cans. I want to use these to decorate the table. I'm going to fill them with succulents and flowers. And lastly from Dollar Tree I got a bunch of these clear baby bottles and I'm going to set these up as a game which is called bottle bowling. And basically you just set up the baby bottles like you would bowling pins. You can put rice or beans or something in the bottles to hold them up and play bowling with the baby bottle. So I thought that that would be perfect for kids. So that is all that I have at the moment. I'm about to go run a few more errands for the last few things that I need. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of these fiesta themed party ideas. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.